Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I've missed working with you. This is Mr. Dunlop, your music teacher. I hope you are being safe. I hope you're practicing safe social distancing, and I hope you're staying inside as much as possible. Because I'm not able to work with you in class twice a week, I'm going to be taping a series of music lessons to help you progress as musicians, even though you can't be at school in music class with me twice a week anymore for a while. So, I'm going to do this over the next two or three weeks, and my goal is to get you a new lesson, at least one new lesson every week. Today's lesson is going to be on clefs. You play a bass clef instrument. Now, if you remember, a staff has five lines and four spaces. We did that at the beginning of the year and in recorder class. How many lines does the staff have? If you said five lines, you're correct. How many spaces does the staff have? If you've said four spaces, you're correct. Now, how do we figure out what the notes are on a bass clef staff? We start from the bottom and we go to the top. So this is the first line. What's this line, everybody? First line, good. So we're going to say first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Everyone say it with me. First line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Again, first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Now let's do the same thing with spaces. This is the first space. Everyone say it with me. First space, second space, third space, fourth space. Again, first space, second space, third space, fourth space. Let's go back up to the line notes now. The first line note is G. What's the first line note? Good. So, the first line note is G, the second line note is B, the third line note is D, the fourth line note is F, and the fifth line note is A. Now everybody say the line notes with me. G, B, D, F, A. One more time. G, B, D, F, A. Now, how can you remember those five line notes? You can use a mnemonic device, good burritos don't fall apart. Everybody say that with me. Good burritos don't fall apart. Again, good burritos don't fall apart. Now, let's say that with the notes. Ready, go. Good burritos don't fall apart. One more time. Good burritos don't fall apart without me. Good job. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. That was good. Now let's try it just using the letters. Just the letters. G, we're doing it together. G, B, D, F, A. Again, G, B, D, F, A. Now, try it without me. Good job. Give yourselves another pat on the shoulder. That was good. Now we're going to move on to the space notes. The space notes are first space A. Everyone say first space A. Second space D C. Everyone say second space C. Third space E. Say third space E. And fourth space G. Everyone say fourth space G. Now say all of them. A, C, E, G. Again, A, C, E, G. Good. Now try it one time without me. How do you remember A, C, E, G? You say, all cows eat grass. Everybody say that. All cows eat grass. One more time. All cows eat grass. Without me. Now let's do it with the notes. All cows eat grass. Ready to go. All cows eat grass. Again, all cows eat grass without me. Good job. Now, let's just say the letter name now. Not the whole all cows eat grass. We're just going to say the first letter. Ready, go. A, C, E, G. One more time. A, C, E, G. Without me. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. That was good. 
Now, here's the really neat thing about how to practice. This is a really neat thing. Everyone hold your hand up. Okay, this can be a music staff. So if you can, get manuscript paper. Ask your parents to get you some manuscript paper. But if you can't, it's okay. You can use your hand to practice. I think I taught you this in recorder class. Anyway, hold up your hand. These fingers, they're your line notes. G, B, D, F, A. Good burritos don't fall apart. Again, good burritos don't fall apart. Here's your space notes. All cows eat grass. Again, all cows eat grass. Good job. Now, you could have somebody practice with you. Someone you live with. They could be a brother or sister. They could be your guardian. And they could say, what's this note? You would say D. What's this note? This is G. So practice with someone who lives with you, or you can practice on your own. This is D. This is G. This is C. So use your hand to practice, or get manuscript paper.